Some blue sky. Got a nice. So today I thought I would just change things a little bit. Um, not hugely, but um, just in terms of the the drawing. Um, so what I'm going to do today is uh, start a six-day drawing, and essentially what I will do over the course of six days. Now let's get this focus properly on the pen, not my fingers. Um, I'm just going to, over the course of six days, fill this sheet of paper with a drawing in ink. And I think it's going to be a crowd scene. So each day for about 10 or 15 minutes, I will just add characters to the scene until on the sixth day we have a great big crowd scene full of different characters. And the reason I I decided to go for a crowd scene. It's because a little bit like Where's Wally, um, you know, compositionally, it's not challenging. It just means you can just, you know, almost like doing a jigsaw in a sense. You can just fill the picture area up a little bit at a time. But the effect, once the picture does become full, is sort of mesmerizing because it's by definition full of faces, uh, faces in a crowd. And I think that is always interesting. We always look for faces in a crowd. I can do quite a bit in a quarter of an hour, drawing in this style. And also because I'm not thinking too much of subject matter, I can just let my mind wander, which is what these daily studio diary drawings are all about. Just sort of moments of meditation with a pen in my hand. Which possibly sums up my career. I don't know, maybe it's a little too pretentious. The other unexpected part of setting up the Patreon page is the rather sort of pleasant feeling of talking to oneself, which essentially is what I'm doing right now, but with that rather nice sort of idea in the back of one's head that, that someone might be listening and that, that's a that's a really nice feeling I've just been on the phone to my agent Katie and I share 
an agent. Um, she was my agent first and then I introduced Katie to her and she represents Katie now. And uh, I highly recommend being represented. It's, it, it's a good feeling. You never have to talk about money um, and vulgar things like that. You can leave it to your agent. It's not for everyone I know and many freelance um, artists represent themselves quite quite properly. Um, but when it comes to the world of publishing it's often um, quite useful to have professional representation um, but at the same time you know you might prefer to build up your own relationships but you don't they're not mutually exclusive you can have an agent and and still sort of have very good sort of relationships with editors and designers and and people you you work with so i woke up this morning and put the news on and started to listen to the news. I had a, a little um, memo pad next to next to my bed and uh, and a biro and I picked up the biro and I just started to draw some little doodles and I, I drew sort of four very strange looking people with rather exaggerated hairstyles. You can see them if you go on my Instagram or, or, or Twitter feed. Um, and one of the great pleasures is, um, is sending those little drawings off to people. So if anyone watching this drawing would like me to send them a doodle, I have four doodles that I did this morning. Um, but I'd really like to just send them off into the world. So if you uh, just leave a comment beneath this video, the first four people will get a, I'm calling them bedhead uh, doodles in the post. I have a whole pack of really delightful tiny envelopes, tiny card backed envelopes. I might not get to you before Christmas, depending on where you where you live, but uh, but it'll be in the post, as they say, um, which I hope will bring just a little bit of seasonal good cheer. Otherwise, they'll just sit on my bedside table, getting dusty and curling up at the edges. So if you can give these little doodles a good home, I'd certainly appreciate it. And I think what I'll do is I'll try and keep my drawing down to a single figure each. Actually, no, that's not going to work. I'll have to do multiple figures. But I think for this, um, this first figure will be a single figure, since he's the first one appearing on the on the page. this drawing. I'm going to go for a walk around the village. My house in Norfolk is, is nicely remote. We're not really overlooked by, by any other houses. But if you walk down the, the road and then down a little lane, you, uh, you can cross some fields and uh, 
and walk around our local village. It's a nice circular walk. Um, takes about an hour. But today is, uh, I think, a nice day for a, a winter walk. I'll put on my Wellington boots, which slightly irritating me, have just got a tiny little hole just in the seam where the sort of toe cap is sealed. So it just lets in a tiny bit of water so I can't really splash through puddles in them, which is generally, they're pretty watertight in, in general, but if I do splash in a puddle, then uh, my uh, right foot gets wet, which is, is slightly annoying, but I do love the boots. They're the most comfortable boots I think I've ever owned, so, uh, so I'm just going to put up with that, not being able to splash in puddles. It wouldn't be acceptable for Ottoline, um, if you know Ottoline, she wears odd shoes and lives in the big city with Mr Munro, and anyone who doesn't know the Ottoline books at this point will think I'm slightly unhinged as I talk about her, but she feels real to me. And she likes nothing better than splashing in puddles. As do I, I've got to say, but, but not when my foot gets wet. And what I'm doing now is... Um, it's just a sort of directional shading, which um, I sort of enjoy doing. I first encountered it in the work of William Heath Robinson, who is um, was a wonderful, wonderful illustrator, known for his um, humorous drawings of uh, crazy, unlikely inventions. Um, but was also a wonderful illustrator, and if you get the chance, you really should um, uh, look up his illustrations to A Midsummer Night's Dream, which are just superb. Um, and what uh, Heath Robinson uh, liked to do is this sort of directional shading, where you sort of suggest the form of a an arm, a sleeve, a leggings, you know, by, um, by just sort of shading round, round the form. And it's, it's really, it's a really enjoyable graphic device. I'm doing it rather sort of inexactly, um, unlike Heath Robinson who has a beautiful, cool style. the first first figure on the large sheet of paper which will over the course of the next six days fill up with a motley collection of characters. And that is day one of the six-day drawing project. <laughs> 